Hello, I'm Derek Doran, and today I'm going to read and review my poem, I've Seen a Swan, but I Cannot Recall the Shape of Its Bill with Any Degree of Accuracy. When I was last here, I found myself in the park drawn to the boating lake you used to take me to when I was a kid. It was derelict for years, vandalised and unloved, but you'd have been impressed. The council have cleaned it up and they want the swans to come back. Remember how I used to get those irrational urges to hold one around the neck just to see what it would feel like? You once said to me swans were a miracle of nature and you could never work them out. But I always took the natural world at face value. I was more flummoxed by the science and mechanics of things, like how a diamond stylus running across the surface of a rotating vinyl disc could fill the air with the god-awful music you sometimes played. I later understood that miracles are about timing and are all ascribed as thus only after being filtered through a subjective analysis which itself has been shaped by cultural prejudices. I have to say that my judgment hasn't always served me well. You wouldn't be surprised to know that I grew up to be my own worst enemy and such a snob at times. There was that girl I really liked, the one who worked in the menswear department at Debenhams. But I could never have imagined being with a woman who would be happy to be seen with a man who bought his clothes in the menswear department at Debenhams. I only ever went in for socks and underpants, but on that fateful day I also bought a swan's head walking stick for your birthday. The hospital said you were dead before you hit the floor. And I've clung to that because it absolves me of a guilt I'm unable to carry. I simply prayed for a miracle when you needed my help. But where's a miracle when the time's not right? I never touched that walking stick again. My hands around the neck would never have felt right. Tomorrow I'll walk around the boating lake once more. The one you used to take me to when I was a kid. It was derelict for years, vandalised and unloved. But you'd be impressed, Dad. The council have cleaned it up and they want the swans to come back. You know, it's a funny thing that I've seen a swan, but I cannot recall the shape of its bill with any degree of accuracy. All right, there you have it. That's I've seen a swan, but I cannot recall the shape of its bill with any degree of accuracy. Um, that title was a prompt that I picked up at a poetry event in Bristol in 2019 and the idea of these prompts uh, is that you take them as a basis for working on a, on a new piece so everybody gets to write down a word or a phrase or a sentence on a piece of paper they're all handed in and then they're given out randomly uh, to anyone who wants to take one and um, this was on the prompt that I took and you can write your poem um, you, you can go in any direction you like with the poem um, the prompt can form part of the poem can be the title um, can be the the obvious um, the driving force behind um, the poem or you can just use it as a as a jumping off place to to write something completely um, seemingly unrelated um, and for me um, you know I, I liked the prompt so much it became the title of the poem and it was also the last the last line the last couple of lines of the poem um, and I, I it was it enabled me to write a poem that really has been decades in the making um, because it enabled me to go to a place that has been a difficult one for me to deal with and it's the, the death of my dad when I was a teenager he died very suddenly at home unexpectedly um, and 
this poem enabled me to to go back to that place that it's something I'd not really been able to to write about before so um, yeah I, I, I was very uh, I was I was as surprised as anyone when uh, when the when the poem emerged as far as the elements in the poem go um, there is a park near where we where I grew up with a, a boating lake and my dad used to used to take us down there uh, me and my, my brother and my sister when we were youngsters and um, yeah it had swans and ducks and stuff it did become vandalized and derelict um, in the in later years you know maybe for 20 odd years um, and the council have in more recent times uh, refurbished the, the lake and the swans are back so all of that's true um, but we never really had that conversation about swans being a miracle of nature um, you know uh, it, it's just a strange thing that um, just this idea enabled me to to run with it and and go where, where I went you know it was uh, there's, there's obviously a bit of poetic license there um, and uh, although I have been known to frequent Debenhams from time to time over the years um, there, there was no girl in the menswear department um, unless that's some kind of subconscious memory that that's come to the surface you know uh, sadly the god awful music bit is true and I'm happy to say that um, my dad's musical tastes uh, are not something that I've inherited so that's a good thing all right folks that's it for this video please like and subscribe and um, stick around I will be back very soon for more of my poetry until then take care and I'll see you soon